What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and today we're finally going to take a look at my heal Lionar deck with Zoran as the general. Um, it definitely focuses on a lot more healing than my Argeon list, uh, things like Circle of Life, uh, specific healing cards like Suntide Maiden, um, Sunseer uh, gets a proc, things like Sun Sister Sterope and Sunriser, so it's really all about that mechanic. And so far I haven't had as much success with it nearly as much success with it as uh, Tempo Argeon because the problem with uh, her Bloodborne spell, Zoran, is you have to have something on the board that uh, that's damaged to be able to use it. So if your opponent keeps your board like cleared, then you have no way to like proc your, uh, your uh, Sterope or your Sunriser or Light Chaser, stuff like that that help that get a benefit from that. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I actually did just have a great gauntlet run with Saran. That's because I had a bunch of, uh, like, uh, a bunch of, what are they called, Heather, in this deck? <laughs> um, whatever, the three sex that heals itself when it's next to your general. Okay. So, this actually needs to be updated, this tip. Um, now the gauntlet is open every day, so... If you're a new player and you just read that, then you might not play Duelist on a certain day of the week uh, because of that tip. So that should be an easy fix, but very important. Taking a bit of time here to find a match. Hopefully, find one momentarily. Um, I don't have that much experience with this deck, so I am not always going to make the optimal play. Um, please, I welcome constructive criticism in the comments to my uh, to my play style and to the moves I make because I am just looking to get better I'm gonna play some against some Starhorn which is a general you don't see too often when you're facing Magmar I usually see a uh, Vath the yeah, Starhorn's more I guess it could be more aggressive because you draw a card more often um don't need to I'm not sure it's not terrible though I promise I don't have a turn one play. That's not good. I need a turn one play. Let's get rid of the Emerald Regenerator and the Stirrup. Okay, this is a turn one play. Sunseer. Kuhata. Yeah, it's going to be an aggressive deck because I'm drawing cards. Which means I want to play smaller creatures so I can take advantage of the drawing as well. Um. Unfortunately, I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, get rid of one of the Sun Risers. Got a Sterop. And... I don't want to put this in range of anything he plays. Any, uh, any of his minions. Or his general. Because right now I wouldn't heal my general at all. Um, this is definitely a good thing to play. Uh, to have on the board though. Because it's something that can just heal... To cause healing to happen like by attacking which would which will proc my sunriser or sun sister so that's good vindicator okay that's not the haste vindicator anymore what is this whenever your opponent draws a card this minion gains 2-2 two -two. okay so I guess that kind of makes sense with uh, the bloodborne spell I'll want to take that out maybe this turn if I can um, I can if I place the Sunriser somewhere adjacent to it and then attack something with my Sunseer. So. Oh, is he, is he able to destroy this? Elucidator. Or is he going to hit me? Up. Oh, he's going to hit that. I am. That's not good for me. That was an insanely fast start by him. I'm not able to do much of anything now. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't have Tempest in this deck. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sadly, I am playing this deck, which has no Tempest. Uh, Sun Sister. Nope. I'll get rid of this Sun Sister, I guess. Crap. Holy Immolation. Not really going to do much of anything. 
I think I'm just gonna have to take out the Elucidator with my General's face. I do have a lot of healing, so... We'll see, and... He only has two cards in hand, I'm not gonna grab that Mana Spurn. I'm just gonna play this right here. Um, so it's good that he doesn't have enough... Alright, this is a 3-4 now. So he does have enough on the board to just straight up destroy this Suntide Maiden. Man. Really wish he didn't, uh, destroy that, my, uh, my, whatever that's called, my Sun Seer with his Elucidator, then things would be going much better for me. Okay. What a fast start. He's running out of cards, but the thing is, he can just play his Wellborn spell and get another card. So I'll be, I hear a lot of people say, like, oh, this uh, Starhorn's Wellborn spell is terrible because uh, it helps both players, doesn't really only help you. But in an aggro deck, the aggressive player will benefit from the cards more. Twin Fang. Okay. You're going to have massive attack, aren't you? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, he's out of cards. Well, he's got one card. He's going to have two cards at the end of the turn. Oh god. I think this game's going to be a loss. Scary stuff, scary stuff. I'm only going to be at 5 this coming turn. How do I even combat this? This is crazy. I can't heal anything. I'm stuck and I am going to surrender. GG. So, that's called getting thwomped. Now let's try to win. Huh. <sighs> Starting off with a uh, loss in this video. Um, hopefully, I can counter that loss with a win right here. I didn't really get to show off what this deck even does because I was just so aggressive by him. I don't think I did anything wrong during that game, though. Starhorn just had, I guess, a pretty good draw. And was just able to clobber me. I don't think this is like a top tier deck though. Heal Lionar is not on the same level as like Tempo Argeon, Control Cassiva, uh, Spell High, stuff like that. But I can win a game. Just not that game. Uh, that player was like gold though. So he was much lower than us. Hopefully he didn't like take extra extra S rank rating away from us. Okay, any time now. Blast minions will receive counterattack from rage minions. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Just a little thing I learned a long time ago, but it was I think I'm pretty sure that cost me the game then when that happened once. Sorry if you're not sure what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my arm. Little thing, yeah. So, uh, who's playing? Uh, okay, Naughty Hamster played Naughty Hamster a lot. I will be able to play this. Is a good hand, I think. I can play those two turn one. I'll get rid of the circle of life early on because I can't play that for a while, anyways. And Abyssinia definitely is more about filling up the board than playing big five health units that can circle of life. Sunrise is pretty good against Abyssinia, I think. I said to keep units on the board. That's the main goal. Have something on the board that I can heal. You know, healing mystic is great for proccing things. I might actually keep both healing mystics. Because I'm gonna play one this turn. I'm gonna get rid of the iron cliff, believe it or not. Healing mystic just feels like it can just do stuff, you know? Uh, the three two blood siren. I hate the three two stats. I feel like I shouldn't be putting a wind blade anywhere near it. But I can't. I can't let Abyssian get all that stuff. Ugh. 
don't know what to do here. Do I play the Sun Seer? Yeah, I'm playing the Sun Seer. Sun Seer turn one again. Because if I can get the Sun Seer to attack, I can get my Sunriser to blow things up. Um, I need to have six mana to be able to play Sunriser plus Healing Mystic, so. Doesn't really work. And. I fully expect uh, him to take all three mana springs this turn and be able to post six mana on the second turn of the game. Spelljammer, okay. I guess not. He's gonna play another two drop, maybe? Gonna be another Blood Siren. Play it there, yes, play it right there so I can get. Oh no, right there, darn. That was not quite as good. If it was down there, I would have been able to place my Sunriser right in that little crevice. Um, I'll get rid of the Windblade Adept. Elix, we got an Elix. So, I think I'm gonna put the Sunriser down here on the bottom. Yeah, I'll do it like this. So Sunriser will go here. There's no way I can get three things hit by the Sunriser. And then I will attack into his... Into his Spelljammer. Because ideally, we want, if he's going to attack with a spell jammer, I want him to do it on his turn. And it, so it can die on his turn. And there we got another Sunriser. Perfect. So you see how good the healing uh, works together with, on um, turn two, I was already able to get a, on the first turn actually, not second turn, I was able to get a Sunriser to do its trick. And this coming turn, um, he has the option of playing with five mana total he can't play a five drop actually yes he can he can destroy that and then blaze hound is actually really good for him right now because i have a full hand which means i won't draw a card very aggressive abyssian deck oh. that he's playing right now so oh wow nice <laughs> And now I'm at five mana. Shadow spell. Okay, good. This thing is still alive. Awesome. That is perfect. So I just have to attack into you. I'm going to get rid of the. Yes, yeah, so I can move up, play the sunrise up here. Oh my god, the Sunriser plays. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to all my like healing things, right? I gotta. I'll get into the Suntide Maiden. Because the Healing Mystic, Emerald Juvenile, and Healing Mystic just heal like the what their opening gambit is healed. So it's like right away and you can get everything to proc and explode. Okay, so I have to start. Right, this is only gonna be able to hit up here, so start by hitting this. So I'll definitely heal that up. And then unfortunately oh, the Blaze Hound's gonna be able to take take one of them out. Oh well. That's unfortunate. So whatever. I'll just hit him in the face. Play another Sunriser. And heal you up. And everything gets hurt. <laughs> Perfect. His general gets hit twice as well. That's so fun to do. <laughs> Sunrise or OP. So I'm sure this blaze hand's gonna trade with one of them and hopefully he can't destroy both of them though. Because if he doesn't, I have another two healing mystics to go off. So this could deal another four. Grincher. Okay, interesting. 
Hopefully he didn't get anything to make his general have 4 attack. Yes, I don't think he did. That makes me happy. And he gets a shadow. Wow, his hand is full. So... I'll get rid of, I guess, Windblade. Liamo. Um... I guess I could Healing Mystical Liamalage and get rid of the Grinch, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean... Just so I can get rid of things. So attack into this. Healing Mystic. Deal another two. Holy Immolation. And you're down to three. Yeah, I've won the game basically. Not a lot that, uh, Naughty Hamster is going to do. Um, even the big Abyssinian legendaries can't save him now. Sunrise has really carried this game. They really did. Rising with the sun. Okay, well, that's going to let him live maybe a little longer. Because that will be out of commission for a few turns. And do you have any provoke or something? Blood sirens, gonna let you hit into that easily. Snow piercer, okay, I guess that's what you got. And where do those spawn? There, okay, so I can still hit you. The question is. Do I have my third Sunriser to win the game? I'm gonna get rid of the Abnormal Rejuvenator and I don't think I'm gonna want to heal this general. Uh, Sun Sister Sterop is great for getting true strikes, which I think they only deal damage to minions, not generals, so that's not gonna help me right now. Uh, I can heal this since it's over here, so I do have the ability to proc healing, so maybe I still do that. Um, do I do that? Do they do that? No, I don't think I do. I think I Elix Stormblade this turn. So, goodbye, Blood Siren. Oh, that was a misplay. I should have actually played the Elix. I'm not going to afterglow this yet. I should have played the Elix uh, before I move my Sunrise. I would have got an extra move. It would have been a little bit closer to joining the battle. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me, because I didn't win the game yet. But he's going to need to, I guess, somehow take out the Elix this turn and then run away. Oh, he has another Demonic Lure. Okay, Demonic Lure number two. It's not dispelled though, so I still get the extra move from it. Shadow or Oh, is he going like you're gonna get like aggro to my face now? Oh god. All of a sudden. It's getting very close. Uh. Do I have anything that can deal the damage? I don't have a, like if I was Argan, I, I I could top deck into a lot of things. I need to top deck into like a holy emulation or something. So I'll get rid of. Well, what I can do, I can use double sun sister and then my bloodborne spell. No, I can't. I do not have that power. I'll get rid of the. That's tough. I'll get rid of a sun sister stero. Okay, yeah, I think provoking is the best thing to do here. Um, I mean, I will actually do both though. So let's try to move in. Try to get here somehow. Um, so, I'm gonna kind of run away, I guess. 
I'm going to be able to use my Afterglow after next turn I return, so I don't really care about using it now. I'll definitely use it, and I will... I need this to be next to my general, actually. And I'll make him go through two things at my general, because I'm kind of scared. I need to be zeal on that, unfortunately, so he's going to be able to kill that very easily, but he's only he can't really afford to hit anything. I draw two strike, true strike, and I now have a very foolish hand um, more than him so he's gonna have to do something here it's gonna be very hard for him to hit my general with his general because I have two things here two so he's gonna run away does he have a way to heal? Blazehound's gonna draw me a card this time too if he had a um, he had like a bunch of Wraithlings out and then a um, Death Watch, like heal you by one and deal one damage to enemy general card, that could make me in some trouble, but otherwise I think I'm okay. For those bad spawns for him, I'm not sure. Does he have anything else to play? Yeah, I guess those are bad starts for him. Is that going to be lethal? Please tell me it is lethal. He's going to need to play something with a lot of health here to be able to survive. What's going on? Okay, so he does have a way to heal a little bit. And I don't draw a two strike. Fine. Why do I even have a two strike to draw? Did I draw one before? That makes no sense. Okay, do I have lethal? I can deal four. Um, well, yeah, I have lethal. I can move like I can move like a mile. Yeah, that's that's game. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yeah. GG. I forgot that Elix give me it gives me extra moves, so his positioning did not make a difference. And that's a wrap. So like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelers.